snap it. You do realize I edit that out like you. Every know. time, but you know, at least you're honing your editing skills. All right. Yes. I got a quick take for you here today, Doug. Oh, okay. I think. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. What we were talking about here today. Who were we brought by? We're brought to you by who? <laughs> FindTheBestCardPrice.com. Really? I'm surprised you remember this at this point. Well, you know, he's paying. <laughs> he is indeed. <laughs> he is indeed. So at FindTheBestCardPrice.com, what they do there, Dad. Do you know at this point what they do? You've, you've probably watched. They're few- aggregators of, of, uh, of incentives and things of that nature yeah. to help you find deals the best car price dot com dot com slash insider slash no really they they do they are aggregators and also they have some guides on there um, will help you make outreach to like multiple dealers and to be able to like shop quotes around yeah which you know right now it's pretty hard to shop quotes because well a lot of inventory is low but you know you still should take your best shot and that's why we recommend find the best car price dot com now the way that we get something out of this is there's a link down below in the description it's got slash insider at the end of it. Yes. Please make sure you hit slash insider yeah, or you're going to be slash outsider. Yeah. yeah. No, be an insider. Yes. No, yes. But, but uh, find the best car price dot com slash insider. Good website. We value it. We recommend it. There you go. Bless you, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Yes. All right. So here's what we're talking about today. Yes. We are talking about yes. can you negotiate at a one price dealership? And before you say no, and just, I gotta extend the video a little bit. Before yeah. you say no, yeah. we get this question all the time. Yeah. And in particular around used cars. Okay. But if you can at least start with, before you say no, can you break down the distinction between the one price selling stores for new cars and one price selling stores for used cars? Kind of talk about the, the differences between the two. Okay, new and used. There you go. This is going to, you know, our, our promo for, uh, uh, what's that, what's it called again? You can find your best car price. Find the best car find price. The, it could, could be longer than this video. No, but uh, what I mean is, used side, they use market pricing. New, how do they come up with what the one price is? You market worked at pricing. A mini, you worked at a mini dealership that tried to go to one price. No, not tried. They did? Yeah. They waited till, for me to leave, but what the hell? Uh, I had been telling them for years they should do it, but they finally did it. Yeah. Um, what, what if they, they check what their competitors are doing, and so they price their cars accordingly. That's how it's done. And so when people say, well, well, if I go to a one price store, can I negotiate? Well, yeah, you can do that with yourself before you walk in. And, and every time you make a request, as, as your alter ego go, now, <laughs> okay? Because it's pretty simple. The reason they're one price stores is to make your life easier, to make everybody's life easier. The, the customer's life, the salespeople's lives, the sales managers' lives. They want it to be a simple process. So they're trying to simplify it. And and they're I don't know, it's it's like Coles. They're putting the price of the car right on the sticker for you. It's right there, it's on the label, it's discounted, it's everything. That's the price. And so if you want to negotiate, go somewhere else. So question for you, when you were at the dealership, the yes. mini dealership. Yes. When it's a one price new car, yes. am I getting a fair deal? I mean, because I think yes. that's... Yes. All right. Yes, they have to be competitive. Yeah. Okay, because hell, they'll, they'll, they'll give you the price in, over the internet. They'll, they'll give you... I mean, they'll give you the price, so it's got to be competitive. Okay? They, they can't charge you uh, $500 more than yeah. everybody else because people are going to go, well, if I could save $500, I'll go somewhere else. That's a good Might point. their price be $100 more, $50 more? Would somebody say, you know, just for the peace of mind and not having to negotiate back and forth and not having to spend, I don't know, all day at the dealership, is it worth $100 to me to be able to walk in, see the price, say, okay, I'll take the car and be out of there in an hour and a half? Yeah, for most people, that $100 is $100 well spent. Right. If it is a hundred dollars, and it might not be a hundred dollars, yeah. And and so, if if you have a strong urge to think that you have to beat the salesman up in order to get a good price, then go to go to an old-fashioned car dealership. But if you have the desire to feel like you're walking into an Apple store and you're about to overpay for an Apple product, and you're okay with doing that at the Apple store, well then go to a negotiation-free store, let them show you their competitive price, and it will be competitive because it's the only way they can stay in business, yeah. and, 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 and save yourself some time, effort, and energy, and 
and go enjoy actually buying a car, which, well, it should be a pleasant experience when you're spending that kind of money. Yeah. So, every time somebody says to me, well, can I negotiate at a negotiation-free selling store? Why do you think it's called a negotiation-free selling store? Because you can't negotiate. Can I negotiate at a one-price store? Why do you think it's called a one-price store? Because you can't negotiate. And I feel like Paul Simon giving you 50 ways to say no. There's, there's 50 ways for a dealer to tell you, no, they can't negotiate. Yeah. And they won't. And, and they will let you walk. You'll find this hard to believe. They will let you leave over $50 because the price is the same for you as it is for anybody else. And honestly, isn't that really the fairest way to do it? No, I mean, that's what it should be. The issue is that we've got 100 years of... Uh, you know, disinformation, yes. asymmetric information, the customer has always been at a disadvantage. Yes. And so these progressive dealerships that are trying to do that, yeah. they still are faced with skepticism because... Uh, well, of course. Because, yeah, because yeah. of that track but, record. But, but, you know, CarMax does it. Yeah, and they've been doing it for 27 years. Yeah. Pretty so, damn successfully. So, you know, there you have it. There, there are people that um, appreciate and approve that way of selling cars. And more and more people will will fall into that category as we move forward. And, yep. and more and more dealerships will fall into that type of selling. So let me ask forward. you one more question. Okay. Can you negotiate at a one price store? Um, <laughs> just with yourself before you go in. Yeah. Come on, I've teed you up for a no. Come, come on, on, you can, Paul, you can come on, come on, you can delude yourself into yeah. thinking that you can. No, all right, it's yeah. a pretty simple but answer. No, yeah. no it's, it's, it really, this could have been the shortest video we ever Filmed where you just said, Can you negotiate at a one price store? I said, No, and we said goodbye, folks. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. Thanks, thanks for making your promo <laughs> longer than our video this week. Nah, all right, Dad, I get it. I think okay. it's helpful. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.